for the first time ever I can really say this is one video that probably nobody should really have seen. Not because of my horrific squad building, more to do with the fact that, you know, this squad builder is so ridiculously expensive to the normal, you know, it's even ridiculously expensive to me, and I'll explain that in, uh, in a little bit as well. But, you know, to the, uh, to the average player, how can you honestly ever possibly do this? And it's just, I don't think it's, I don't think it's actually possible. So, of course, you know what I'm talking about. Today is the day of the player of the month to be announced. Uh, it was a lot of debate whether or not it's going to be Pedro or Costa. And then it ended up being Diego Costa, as you can see, with that 88 rated purple and silver really nice looking card the card itself is great the challenges challenges you have to do are not quite so not quite so nice so the first one you have to do is costa's past then costa's present premier league and then eight clubs so you've probably seen many other people do this you don't need me to tell you what to do or you know the things you need for this but we'll start with costa's past what you need is five Atletico Madrid players, five Brazilian players, one Team of the Week players, 85 rating and 100 chemistry. Honestly, this is the most ridiculous thing you can possibly imagine. I know I've, you know, banged on about, um, I really want squad building challenges to be more difficult. Difficult, yes. Expensive, not, not so much. So we've got Oblak, Godin, the pack pool Godin, which hurts me a little bit to get rid of, but I'm not, I, I don't, I use Pepe over him, I think he's a lot better, but uh, we've also got Felipe Luis, Gaitan, Churan, uh, Koket striker, because there's no good Atletico, well not good, but no high rated strikers besides Griezmann, and I don't really want to spend 200k on a Griezmann and then just, uh, you know, get rid of him, so we put Koke up there, um, got Jonas, Rafinha, which is quite a, um, I was, uh, there was so much, because the, on the bench you can see a few players I've been, you know, trying to use, circulate through the team, uh, I've been trying to use the Brazilian Benfica player, um, I can't remember his name, but he's a centre mid, trying to use him to get a perfect link, get some chemistry, it just, it was stuck at 98, I really wish I could show you, but I didn't record this part, but, uh, you know, my brain thought, you know, why not use Rafinha, he's Brazilian, he's, he gets a link, so... You, you can see that, but there we go. So we've also got Lucas at the right mid. We've got Raphael, I do believe, from Manchester United, he used to be. Then we've got Dante, who um, whose inform looks really rather rubbish. So what happened to Dante? Honestly, he used to be so good at Bayern Munich. But uh, there's our inform, and that covers Brazilian, Atletico, everything. So we'll get rid of it. Get What do we get for it? So we get one prime gold players pack, which is just... Not, none of the rewards for any of these are worth what you put into it, but we'll, uh, we'll complete it and uh, we'll get the pack, which no doubt will be very, very disappointing uh, at the end. So, on to Costa's present, which of course focuses around Chelsea. You need Chelsea minimum of five, Spain players minimum of five, one team of the week players. It's going to be a, a little bit of a, it's going to be a recurring theme throughout this uh, squad building challenge as you'll notice as well as the uh, 85 rating which I don't understand why the rating has to be so high why not put it 84 make it a little bit more you know um, completable which would be really nice but you know I'm only saying that because I don't really want to go out and buy the high rated players all the time and I suppose nobody really does when one thing okay cut myself off real quick uh, one thing I've done which is quite nerdy but I've uh, you know, looked at how much I spent throughout the squad building because I really want to tell you how much this actually costs. A lot of people, well not a lot of people, but a few people have asked me on like the Jonas squad building challenge, how much does it cost on, it, you know, on PS4, Xbox, it doesn't really matter what platform, it costs the same, I presume. I, I could be wrong, but um, I wanted to tell you how much I spent in the players to actually complete these squads. So the first one cost me 61,000 coins of course you do have to remember you are putting in a team of the week player so it is going to be quite expensive nonetheless but this squad cost me 119,000 coins which you know that completely blows the budget for anybody I, I assume um, we've got the player uh, players of 
I'll try that again. We've got the likes of Hugo Lloris, we've got Chris Smalling, um, Mustafi, Azpilicueta, Cesc Fabregas, Pedro, Inform Defoe, Ander Herrera, striker Santi Cazorla, Matic at CM, and then Willian, who I recently packed, and I, I thought, you know, that'd be quite nice to use. Nope. Get rid of the entire squad, get another prime gold players pack, which just isn't worth it. Just totally, totally is not worth it. Now, I need to jump over to the trade pile to get some players to complete the next one. God help me. All right, so the next one we have to do is, of course, the Premier League squad, which requires you to have 11 Premier League players, uh, one Team of the Week players, 10 rare players exactly, 85 rating, 100 chemistry, 11 players, etc, etc. Now, one thing that really threw me off was where it said 10 rare players. Um, of course, what I didn't really gather was that it didn't class the Team of the Week player as a rare player. So, you know, there is, it's not very difficult. You can probably work it out yourself. So there is the squad. It's ridiculous again. I had to go out and buy another Cesc Fabregas and Azpilicueta. Uh, I could probably use some other people, but they weren't too expensive. I mean, I bought uh, Azpilicueta for 4,000 coins, which isn't too bad for a 84 rated player. It's just, you know, the rest of the squad, which cost an absolute bomb to, to buy. So we've got Begovic, uh, Koscielny, Otamendi, Azpilicueta, uh, Coleman, Delefeu, Xhaka, Fabregas, Payet, Doof, and in form Harry Kane. Now, uh, at first I didn't really want to get rid of Kane, but he's pretty trash, so I'll, <laughs> I'll get rid of him and get two Premier League Prime Players packs, which no doubt will be very, very disappointing. So there it goes. We're not going to talk about it, it's just it's just gone. So the last one we have to do is the just... This is so insane. You have to... Uh, it, it's so bad, honestly. This is the reason why I didn't want to do this um, squad building challenge to start with. It's just... How do you do this if you don't open packs, if you play the game normally? How on earth do you have the coins to buy eight Team of the Week players? Well, technically, it's actually 11 if you class the uh, the other three squad building challenges we, we just did. But, so we've got eight Team of the Week players. It doesn't matter about chemistry. You need eight clubs. Exactly. Eight Team of the Week players. Exactly gold. It's just, it's so utterly bad. So I'll put them into the, uh, into the squad. Just, it doesn't matter where they go. Just all of them. Um, and we'll talk about it as we go. So the last squad we just did, which was the Premier League squad cost me 74,000 coins to complete so if you are looking to complete that it's not it's not the cheapest thing in the world so there is our team of the week players complete um we do of course have eight clubs currently but we do need to fill the rest of the clubs so i'll put just um i'll put ac milan would that work i think we'll try milan and um hopefully i've got enough players as is to cover so, CM, so yeah, it doesn't matter about chemistry again. We'll put in Honda. We'll put in uh, this guy. And last one, we'll do Montelivo for the cam. And there we are. It has been completed. So, the informs we've got, it just it doesn't really matter. I'd, if you can, go for the 81 rated informs if possible. Um, they're not very expensive, to be fair. This is probably one of the cheaper... Um, well, it's not the cheapest, but it's one of the cheaper squads you can possibly build. So we've got uh, Benaglio, who cost me 12,000 coins. You can probably get him for cheaper. 10,000 coins if you're lucky, or around that mark. So not a bad price at all. We've got Castillo up at striker for just under 11,000. We've also got Lopez for 14. I think I bought him for too much. You can probably get him for cheaper, but I, uh, I just didn't really care. So... Um, Rensing, Michael Rensing, uh, he was a first owner, not going to use him, put him in, um, Fernandez, 12,000 coins, Hilton for just under 12, uh, for now, for, for nows, for nows, Pablo for nows, uh, 11,000 coins, we've also got Honda, um, Suso, uh, who cost me 23,000 coins, 
I bought him a while ago before this actual squad building challenge came out, um, hoping he would go up in price, but he went down to 12,000 coins, which is, I, doesn't really make a whole, a whole lot of sense to me because, you know, I suppose when you think about it, everyone's trying to sell their card for cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, and it just goes down, goes straight downhill, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so that was a bit of a mistake. Not much I can do about it. Might as well use him while I have him. Um, then, of course, Lopez and Castillo. So, there it goes. I don't really want to talk about it. It's just it's just going to be pure, utter pain. If I do get something good, I'll be surprised in my packs. But I can guarantee I probably won't. So, before we complete it, that squad, the uh, Team of the Week squad, cost me 95,000 coins, which... You know, looking at it, is actually one of the second highest expensive squads you can do. But uh, in total, it cost me a whopping third. I'll try that again. It cost me a whopping three hundred and fifty thousand coins to be exact. It cost me three hundred and forty-nine. But um, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So three hundred and fifty thousand coins does the average player have to spend on this squad building challenge? Probably not. I mean. <laughs> There it, there it is, his card. It actually looks really quite good, very similar to somebody like Zlatan. Not very much pace, but you know, good shooting, good physical, good dribbling. Passing's not too bad, so 78 pace, 86 dribbling, 91 shooting, 78 passing, and 91 physical. Very, very decent card. Um, but the problem is, would I use him? I probably will. I'll, I'll try and use him as much as possible because I've spent so much on him, but just, I, I don't know. It just didn't seem like a really worthwhile card getting or spending, you know, 350,000 coins trying to get. That's why I didn't want to get him, but my uh, OCD in trying to collect everything overruled me and here we are. So Costa has been completed. He has been unlocked. There he goes. There he goes. So, what are we looking for? So we're looking for, I suppose, a Neymar would uh, would earn all of our money back. Um, <laughs> is that going to happen? It, it, no, no, it's not. Um, Inform Sanchez would be quite nice. Um, any blue card would be absolutely sick. Because of course, as you know, we do have the team of the group stage, the European team of the group stage. Um, in packs currently so that'd be quite nice that'd be quite nice to get so we've got two premier league prime players packs we've got uh, two prime gold players packs jumbo premium gold pack and another jumbo premium gold pack so let's start things off with the jumbo premium gold pack no walkout no blue flare either it's going to be wasn't that great next pack no walkout blue flare could it be nope Nope, it's going to be Quintero from Porto. I just don't, I just don't want Quintero. Now, last time I opened the Premier League packs, I got Yaya Torre, which was quite good. So, blue flare. Oh, it's quite a big flare. It's going to be Krychowiak or Krychowiak. I don't know how you pronounce it. That guy from PSG. Um, come on, blue flare. It's not a walkout. Blue card. No, really. Alright, prime players packs from the Premier League. Last time I did these, I got Yaya Torre, um, which isn't going to help me now, but it's no walkout. It's a big flare. It's going to be Aaron Ramsey. He goes for about 3,000 coins. Oh, we get Peter Crouch. Wow, that's so sick. Last one today. I just... I can't deal. It's not even a big flare. It's not even a big flare. Well, that was fucking dreadful. Oh wow, I hate I hate I hate this game. I hate this game so much. Oh we also get Schneiderlin and Clichy. Cleverly Oh we get Peter Crouch again. <laughs> I'm a little bit upset. I uh, I'm a little bit upset about that. Um 350k is it worth it for this card? It's probably not. It's far too late. I can't deal with what just happened. So all of that, all of that stuff we gave up, we got back absolutely nothing. I was watching a few people, you know, live stream completing this and their packs were unbelievably good. Like blue cards, 
in forms, walkouts, pack after pack, and my packs just no. Just, just take a seat and just get nothing at all. So, hopefully, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Um, if it has helped you in any way, complete this for any you know any cheaper than before. Probably wasn't the cheapest option. Um, I don't really know how. I don't really know how you can do this for cheap when you need so many high-rated players, and of course they're all you know massively inflated in price because people know people need them for said squad builder, so they increase the price. You pay more. You feel worse and upset, and the cycle repeats. I'm gonna call it there. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. So as always. I do hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching and as always, until next time.